Well, giving a live look right now in downtown San Francisco, marking 33 years since the Loma Prieta earthquake rocked the Bay Area. The city's fire department holding a ceremony right now along the Embarcadero. This is just outside of Fireboat Station 35. And that 6.9 magnitude quake is the most devastating disaster to hit the Bay Area in recent memory. But as KPIX5's Brian Hackney explains, at least one expert believes we got incredibly lucky on that fateful day when the Bay Area was glued to its screens watching the A's take on the Giants in the World Series. It was exactly 5.04 p.m. At second base, so the Oakland A's take... take hey, well, we're having an earthquake. The San Andreas explodes. Oh, my God, we're having an earthquake. With the force of one, two of 75 atom bombs. The initial boom. Boom, and it just kept coming. And it kept coming, and it kept coming again. There go the white The freeway was rolling and humping and jumping. It's terrible. It's terrible. There's uh, a lot of people under there that's pent. 2,200 yards of the Cypress structure pancakes. The upper section collapsing into the lower section of the Cypress. It's just, just no help. One deck of the Bay Bridge collapses. Serious damage on the Bay Bridge. Part of the marina goes up in flames. All right, now we have a major fire burning. Six billion in damage. 62 lives lost. And we were lucky? Dr. Stein. <laughs> That's great. Good to see you. <laughs> Meet geophysicist Ross Stein. Hello. So why were we lucky with Loma Prieta? If you put a gun to my head, and said, Ross, your job is to take a magnitude 7 earthquake and put it in a place where it'd be as safe as possible. I would have put it where the Loma Prieta earthquake occurred, in the middle of the Santa Cruz Mountains, where nothing was happening except growing pot. I just want one picture. Now. Hurry, James. When you see how it looks today, you couldn't imagine how much damage was done in the mountains in Monterey Bay. I don't know how the hell we're going to get them out. And all this chaos 40 miles from the epicenter. So here's the point. A magnitude 7 on the Hayward Fault would be so much worse. First, it's closer to San Francisco. It's closer to population centers. It's closer to tall buildings and key infrastructure like bridges and art and everything we care about. The last time the Hayward Fault snapped was in 1868, and it did a lot of damage. And it's been more than 150 years. So is the Hayward Fault overdue? It's really hard to talk about any fault being overdue. What we can say is, based on the past 10 or so ruptures that we think occurred on the Hayward Fault, it's about due. That's it's so hard yes. to hear that. It's so grim. how likely are we to see mm -hmm. a Hayward, a, a big earthquake in the Hayward Fault next 10 years? Is that too close to estimate? Well, the, the thing is, when they look back in the historic record, the Hayward Fault, on average, pops off about every 140 to 150 years. Now, the, okay. these things are not like clockwork. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but there's some variability. Still, you know, what has it been? 1868 to now is, I shouldn't have done this. 154 years. It's 154 okay. years. So we're we're right in the window of that. Yeah. And let me tell you, as Ross said, when the Hayward Fault goes, it is going to be nothing like the Loma Prieta quake because it'll be right smack dab mm -hmm. in the middle of the metropolitan area. It's one of the most, if not the most, built upon faults, most mm. populated faults on Earth. Hopefully there's been yeah. enough, you know, building. Mm. Uh, well, uh, you know, we've, we've made some progress. Retrofits, mm -hmm. I should say. Well, yeah, we've made some progress, but when it goes, and when the Hayward, I, I, I kid you not, the Hayward Fault goes right through homes. There are yeah. some homes where the living room is on the Pacific Plate and the other is on the Continental Plate. Because they needed to build homes. So they they need, they, well, they and they didn't choice, know. They didn't right? know where the fault was when they built it. My, my parents' home was right on it, right through Contra Costa County. And the, and the one thing I do remember about Loma Prieta, it wasn't just the, the strength of it. Yeah. It just went on mm. and Ooh, on. It, a, it, yeah. it felt like it went forever. Yeah. Yeah, um, where, where the Hayward goes. So it's all a caution. I don't, don't want to. I don't want to scare <laughs> well, you to death. But I, I, would. <laughs> I, I know. I do want you to be ready, though, and that's why yeah. we talked to Ross about a few of the things that you should have in an earthquake preparedness kit. Listen. It's got a lot of water. It's got a mask, a cold pack, heat packs, lithium batteries, a flashlight here, a utility knife. You need to cut, be able to cut things. That looks appetizing. This is, this brick is food. I'm not going to vouch for the quality, but it's got to be filling because it weighs a ton. 
And the most important thing is, look, it all fits in a backpack. You throw it in your trunk of your car, and it's there when you need it. Well, my MG. Another great resource is the Tembler app. It's an excellent assessment of quake risk. You can find it on the App Store. Oh, and one other thing that should be in your quake, well, there's a number of other things that should be in your quake kit, but this is one of them. <laughs> Sorry, John, <laughs> our audio guy. <laughs> Sorry. This thing, okay, in the Mexico City earthquake, yeah. non-ductile concrete buildings come down. Chunks of concrete, people are buried. You don't have a lot of strength, you're mm -hmm. under the building. Put one of these on your car keys, and with what breath you may have left, you will be able to be heard with this. So this is something wow. else, just a little whistle, costs about four bucks to have in your keychain, just in case. That's great advice. Yeah. 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 How, how important is the Shake Alert app? The Shake Alert's very, you know, the Shake Alert is a step in the right direction. You know, it helps, I, but, but the thing it's is, exact. it's not gonna help if you're not ready. It's not gonna help mm -hmm. if you haven't strengthened your house. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna help if you haven't gotten a plan with your kids. Liz, can you imagine that your kids are over in the East Bay, mm -hmm. you're over here, Quake hits, you can't call them. It's the biggest reason work. why we stay in the city, so we don't have a bridge between us. But that's a big issue. But a lot of folks who, who work here and their do. children are Cell phones may not bridge. work. Landlines may not work. You've got to have a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No so now's the time to get ready. All right. Yep. Great Thanks, advice. Okay, guys.